<clears throat> hey, what's up, y'all? I'm out here on this, uh, I really should be saying on this, uh, seventh day of Hanukkah, because that's what I celebrate, but it just so happens to be what, um, today just happens to be what many people celebrate and under the false pretense of the birthday of Christ when it's really the birthday of that pagan Roman god Saturnalia uh, we all know is Christmas I just happened to be out here getting ready to uh, grill some grub just waiting on my uh, my coals to you know ash up a little bit more But meanwhile, I thought I would just uh, take the time to, you know, put in my two cents as far as um, the aftermath of the takeoff situation. Because I think, you know, two months after the fact, I think this is enough time to, I've given it enough time to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, formulate an opinion about it, especially now that, you know, you know, mofos are uh, going to jail, or you know they're being sentenced. They apparently they've already been sentenced. So, um, you know, some of the perpetrators, and some are probably on the verge of getting sentenced due to whatever involvement they had with it. Oh, by the way, don't let the snow um, fool y'all. I know that there's been this polar blast. And um, a couple of days ago, it got cold than a motherfucker. Like, it got down to sub zero temperatures. Yeah, a few days ago, and it snowed. But now, now it's it's probably, you know, the, uh, the forecast said it was going to be like 58. It was going to be in the high 50s. But I would say it's about give or take 50. So it ain't as cold as it as it looks. Not now, in, anyway. Not anymore. It was. Like I said it was below. It was well below freezing temps. Yeah, it's uh, according to my my phone app. It's telling me um, it's 51 degrees, and you know that's what it feels like. But anyway. On with the subject with um, this bullshit that took place down in Houston that ended up costing takeoff his life. Here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. Because, you know, niggas, niggas, ninjas, you know, being in mass groves and... <clears throat> knocking each other's blocks off knocking each other off period that comes with the territory that comes with the territory got this uh got this cat here I think this is my uh, tenant's cat, or one of my tenant's cats. There he is, right here. <clears throat> Just petting him. He actually came when I called him over. I can't believe it. All right, now off with you. <clears throat> I think his name's Mischief. I just call him Kitty. <clears throat> You know, I'm kind of like David Carroll when... Uh, <coughs> leave this cat. He's up here purring on me. And rubbing his tail on me. <coughs> so, uh... So 
So yeah, I'm kind of like David Carroll when it comes to Negroes. Like my 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 standard of expectation is just not high at all when it comes to the vast majority of Negroes, right? So bunch of rappers going down there playing shooting dice despite having all this money despite having all this money and getting into it over some some little slick comment about uh about basketball of all things yeah that's definitely the cardinal sin when it comes to shine bones you know, these people swear that I don't know anything about them, but I like to think the fact that, you know, the fact that if I feed them at all, I feed them with a hundred with a hundred foot pole. Should I, I ought to tell you, I know some about them. So none of that is surprising to me. Like I said, the fact that they went down there shooting craps despite being practically billionaires in a billion dollar industry. Ain't that right mischief? And you know, they getting into some goofy squabble. And uh, takeoff ends up ends up getting the top of his skull blown off you know that's that's to be expected that's that's negroes for you well here's here's the thing though here's the thing that's fucking with me right here's the thing now you have the court proceeding now you have I believe dude's name is uh one dude's name's Lil Cam, and the other's uh uh DJ uh DJ Pet I believe. I mean hell if I know, and hell if I care. And look and listen to from what from the sources that I'm getting at least, I could be wrong. But, you know, I'm subscribed to a lot of people on, on the tube. And according to what they're saying, according to what they're saying, they're saying, yeah, I'm recording the cat. And he's walking up to me now. He was, I was, you know, hitting me with his tail. But, uh, But now they're saying that Lil Cam and and this uh, so-called Lil Cam and this so-called DJ Pet are begging the judge not to send them to prison. According to the sources that I'm gathering, they're begging the judge don't send them into general population within the within the penal system, within the correction system. One or the other, you know, I know both of them ain't saying the same thing, but one is saying one or the other. One saying, don't send me to general population. One saying, please don't send me to jail. I miss my mama. Okay, he's back over there now. So give him give him give him his little uh few minutes of glory and it's it's also my understanding that one of them was actually bragging about not getting locked up like they can't be locked up like they know too many people they got their daddy they got you know, somebody in their family that's going to get them out, you know, that's going to bail them out. All right, he's, okay, he's, he's back over here effing with me again. He 
like to jump on me. <clears throat> and see that they're finally I mean it's just now that reality is start starting to dawn on them. Alright, here here you go. I, I know Yeah, I was about to say he was about to that was some uh dirty dishwater that I had to clean out the uh the grills. I was like, I know he better not drink that. <clears throat> But make, 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 make this make sense to me, y'all. These, these are supposed to be some hardcore gangsters. I mean, some shooters, killers, right? And like I said, I don't set the bar very high when it comes to the vast majority of Negroes. I just don't. But one thing that I can expect among Negroes is that they will knock each other's they will knock each other's noodles out. They will knock each other's brains.